Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I have a super exciting box. Um, I had been wanting to try Mooncat nail polish for a while and I had been on their website several times and uh, saved several polishes but I never could decide on which ones I wanted. And then I seen a video um, by, I think her name is Emily Marissa or something like that. If that's wrong, I'll put her name on the screen. Uh, but she showed the Alice in Wonderland collection and I absolutely loved it. Um, so that's what I have in here. I went ahead and bought the entire uh, collection with the collecting box and stickers and all of that. So I'm going to dig in here. I'm so excited for this. Goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so we got some bubble wrap. Oh, everything's like packaged really well. Okay, so here is the little Moon Cat logo on this little card. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and move this and take this out of the box. Okay, so everything is nice and bubble wrapped. It's like a pillow. Alright, so here is the little box with all the characters. And it says, we're all mad here. I really, really wish that it had the Queen of Hearts on the box. I love that it has the little rabbit. But I'm a huge Queen of Hearts fan. You can see my little tattoo. Um, so I really, really wish she was on the front of the box. She may be somewhere else. Let's take it out of the plastic and get a better look. It's a very nice box. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love like the purple metallic writing. So look at all of this. Oh, there she is. Yay. And it's got her little uh, cards, uh, guards. So, so cute. I don't remember this little guy. Is he one of the, what she uses to play croquet? Is that the little animal that rolls as a ball? I'm pretty sure it might be. On this side, we just have some little butterflies made out of, is it like toast or something like that? Got some of the little flowers. These little creatures travel down the rabbit hose. Super, super cute. And then I love it because it says lift me for the top and then pull me for the little drawer. And I love all the little suits in here. So cute. So in this collection, we have six nail lacquers. Um, three of them are magnetic, I believe, which I'm so excited because I have never used a magnetic polish and I have really been wanting to. I'm trying to adjust my light a little bit here. I've really been wanting to try magnetic polishes. So this has three. It comes with a magnetic wand, a glass nail file, which is something else I've also been wanting to try. I've heard good things about them. And then it has two uh, sheets of nail art stickers, which I'm so excited about as well. So like I said, I absolutely love Alice in Wonderland. I'm crazy about the Queen of Hearts. And, yeah, so I just knew I had to get this. I've always wanted to buy, like, a collection box um, anytime I see them come out, but I've just never been able to. So, this is my first, like, full-themed collection of really anything. So, super excited for it. So, let's get on in, and we're going to start off with lifting the little lid. Okay, so the inside is beautiful. I love how it says, try me. And I love the little boxes. I'm probably going to be keeping everything in their packaging because why not? So let's start with this very first one. And this is Do You Play Croquet? I wonder if it has it anywhere on the box. Abandon the Ordinary with the Little Rabbit. Yes, it has the little name right here. Okay, oh, it's got the little doorknob. Oh, I love this so much. It's got the little moon cat logo here. And then Alice in her little little jar. Um, so this is the one um, that is based off of the Queen of Hearts. 
and uh, it's from where she's playing croquet, and I believe she's using pink flamingos as a croquet mallet. So that's why they went with the pink. I do wish that they had done like a red uh, for her, um, and I do prefer red over a pink polish. So I've got something on my hand that's annoying. Um, this is really the only one that I've, I'm a little bit like wishing it was different from when I looked at other videos and photos, but nonetheless, I'm still very excited. And as far as the pink goes, I think it's a pretty one. There's the little rabbit inside the box. Everything is just so themed out and adorable. Okay, so here is the polish. It is a very pretty pink. It's got these flakies in there. I'm seeing like an orange and green shift and then there's a shimmer in there that's given like a purple fuchsia shift throughout the whole polish. So this is a beautiful nail polish even though I do wish that they had a red for the queen. This is still super super cute and the moon cap bottles are adorable. So that is the first one. Do you play croquet? And I will be swatching all of these at the end of the video. Okay, so next we had Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much, and I absolutely love the name of this one. And this is a beautiful blue. It says we're all mad here on this side. The other one said abandon the ordinary. So, oh no, they have it on each side. Okay, so never mind. <laughs> all right, so the box is looking the same. I do not want to rip these. I want to be very careful. Oh, it says try me here. That is so cute. There's just been so much thought put into these little boxes and the packaging. Okay, so this one could very well end up being my favorite of the collection. It is a beautiful flaky blue. Uh, in person, it's looking more of like an icy Cinderella blue. There's a lot of like green, like aquamarine color coming through on the camera, but there are so many shifts in these flakies. Like it is just packed full. This is pretty much a flaky bomb. But anyway, this one is absolutely gorgeous very much in love with that and like I said later I will be doing swatches of all the videos or I would be doing swatches of all the polishes in the at the end of the video okay and then last for the regular polishes I say regular but they are definitely not regular but non-magnetic polish is a, a very merry and um, birthday and this is a beautiful royal purple. I'm not going to take time looking at the box this time because they are the same. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Okay, so the blue is really, really showing up in my camera. Um, there it's definitely like a blue uh shift in a like purple pink base that is gorgeous the light just catches that blue like crazy there's a lot of a fuchsia tone in here that i feel like maybe you can see it a little bit down here but in person there is a very like vibrant fuchsia tone but it's got all those little flakies it's beautiful. And this one is a very merry unbirthday. Okay, and lastly for this top section, we have the glass file, which I'm so intrigued to see what this feels like. I've heard many, many people talk about how good a glass nail file is, and I have never had one or felt one. Oh, that is interesting. It's like a very, very fine grit. Okay, so I'm super excited to use that. And look how beautiful it is. It's like a like a crystal. It's got the little Alice in Wonderland logo. And then the um, moon cat eye right there. Very, very cute. All right. All right, so next 
I'm going to close this down and I'm going to scooch it back and we are going to go into the drawer that says pull me. Okay, so here's what the little inside of the drawer looks like. It says paint me here. Super, super cute. Um, we have our little two-sided magnet. There's no like special print or anything on there, but this is just for our magnetic polishes. Got a little silica packet. I'm going to go ahead and take that out of here. All right, so let's go into our first magnetic polish. Oh, this one's beautiful. This one is called Bread and Butterflies. And this is a gorgeous green flaky. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Ugh. Okay, so it is like a gold with a green shift in there and then you have these beautiful like coral pink flakies there's like a purple like lilac color in there that is so so pretty like this is beautiful on its own without being magnetized and like i said i've never had a magnetic polish so i'm super excited to use these okay so let's see what the magnet does Oh, okay, so it gives that really strong, like, yellow-green line. Ugh, oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so again, this one is called Bread and Butterflies. Okay, next we have Cheshire Cat, which is another one of my favorite characters. So this is uh, Cheshire Cat, and as you can probably guess, it's a purple Okay, so we have like a deep, almost like a, not quite a blackened base, but it is a very deep purple base with a beautiful like fuchsia, almost fuchsia shimmer. You can really see that at the top of the bottle. And then we have these deep blue flakies that have like a little bit of turquoise, some greens and like amber yellow colors popping up in there as well okay excited to see this one magnetized okay so we're having that purple line okay that is so pretty I'm so excited to use these okay I want to try the round one can you see that moving that's so cool Okay, so that kind of gets that round orb effect again. Love that. Okay, so again, that is Cheshire Cat. And lastly, we have Mad Hatter, which is a beautiful, like, emerald green. Again, we have that very, like, deep base with that really like vibrant emerald green shift and then we have like some purple blue and yellow flakies so there is magnetized you're gonna get this very strong green glow I'll try it with the square magnet oh yeah that is beautiful all right so that is the last magnetic polish. Lastly, we have this little pocket that says take one, which is so cute. And in here, we have our little sheets of nail stickers. If I could get them out, that would be amazing. Okay, so here's the little sheets. Oh, we got the little Cheshire Cat over here, some more of the cards. All the little characters. Create a world of your own. Super cute. Got the caterpillar, the queen. Alright, probably going to keep this little purple sleeve as well. Trying not to mess up any of the packaging because it's just all so cute. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at the little sleepy caterpillar. 
I love it. Aw, I love this. You got Alice, the rabbit, the little, is it clams? Is that what that is? Okay, so on the sheets we have uh, like little sparkles. We have uh, some mushrooms. We have the Cheshire cat. We have the clock, which I love. The little drink me bottle. Uh, the Mad Hatter's hat, some teacups, uh, the key, um, more different like colored and styles of teacups, all the little blue flower and red flower. Then we got all the card suits here, some of the bread and butterflies. Oh, super, super cute. And both pages are the same. Oh, I love this so much, so adorable. I am gonna keep them in their little sleeve here. It just says stay curious. I think that's so cute. Okay, so that is the unboxing portion of this video. I am going to move into swatches. Okay guys, so I decided to go with the 
do you play croquet polish as my manicure um, I've really been trying to get into pinks and I have got glitter and stuff all over me so wish me luck trying to get that off but I have been trying to get into pinks and I do like the purple tone of this one and um, since it is kind of like the Queen of Hearts uh, polish. I really wanted to wear that one because like I said she is my favorite character so I figured I would represent look at that beautiful beautiful shine and flakies I got cuticle oil on because they desperately needed it um, but yeah there's that I also used the glass file and oh my gosh people are not kidding when they say that glass files are the best like hands down the best file I've ever used it doesn't even compare um no no other files compare like we'll 100% be using a glass file from now on it was just so smooth and easy and I, it didn't feel like it was overly harsh on my nails so I was able to file them and get a good nice uh, rounded edge so I think the collector's box is really really fun um so if you are a fan of Alice in Wonderland I do think that uh, the way it's been put together is super cute especially if you plan on keeping your polishes in the box um I love the polishes themselves I will definitely be ordering some more things from the Mooncat brand I'm excited to try the stickers but yeah, if you are a fan of Alice in Wonderland, like this packaging is absolutely adorable. It is done so well. The boxes are high quality. The uh, actual box everything in is high quality. The nail polishes are obviously high quality. So yeah, if you are a fan, I would definitely recommend it. Um, as far as I know, it is still available on the Mooncat website. It is limited edition. Um, I'm not sure how much each polish is individually, but I did pay after shipping and handling and taxes and all of that. I paid $120 for the entire um, set, but I am extremely happy with it. Like I said, it's not only for the polish, but kind of like the collector uh, aspect of it as well. So if you're into that kind of thing, I think it's really, really cute. And the polishes are beautiful. And the more I look at this one, the more I like it. So... Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in this box uh, or this collection? Um, do you plan on getting it? If not, uh, if you end up ordering one or two, which polishes would you get? So yeah, that's going to be it. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.